And now, your first alert weather. All right, we got sunshine to kick things off around here at lunchtime. Close to 80 degrees. You can see the winds and the traffic cones that we're growing in our garden around here. It is brisk and winds are 10 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour in Blackfoot. Tw hey. What was, oh, that was three and two and one over there. Uh, 81, 81 is, uh, yeah, I'm not, what's going on? Is that, is that the lower third is messing up? That's, that's links, links one, no, links three is running. Uh, 72 in Jackson, 75 in Blackfoot. It's 81 degrees in Pocatello as we kick it like Jackie Chan up in here this afternoon. Here's a live look at Salmon, where it's bright and it's 71 degrees. All right, uh, around here, we're approaching 80. We're going to be in the 80s for the afternoon. 77 in Chalice, 71 there into uh, IP, and it's 75 down around Montpelier. Probably a good day to head to Lava Hot Springs or High Sea or the golf course or to Portneuf. But the winds are troublesome around American Falls. That's where we've got that uh, wind advisory, and that's going to stick around until about 8 o'clock tonight. There it is. I've outlined it for you from the Weather Service. We've seen gusts of up to 19 in Blackfoot, 30 on into Pocatello in the last little bit. 26 mile an hour gust into Mackey, and we're in the teens there into some of the mountain areas. 21 mile an hour gust into Jackson. So as high pressure, uh, it, you know, heads back east for us, we've got clear conditions around here. We've pushed everything out of the way, a little ridge over the top of us, and it, it is truly not a major heat wave. That comes next week, it looks like, with some more heat around here. But we're gonna be consistently dry and clear and very little cloudiness. Now, the winds will be the big story here as we get into afternoon drive. You may see 35 mile an hour gusts or more, and there may be a few clouds that show up into the weekend forecast, like on Friday afternoon, and there may be those uh, ever so slight shower chances there along the state line, but most of that monsoonal moisture is out of here. Uh, 60, I'm sorry, 85 for the afternoon and in 60s at night as things are cleared out. So that wind advisory takes hold of us there from uh, Shelly and Furrick to Blackfoot, you know that stretch between Fort Hall and Pocatello right there at uh, Northgate before you split to go to Chubbuck. It's going to be brisk uh, later on and uh, we'll keep that in mind if you're on the American Falls Reservoir. So 35 mile an hour gust are possible. This is coming from the west and that's what's pulled in uh, any of that smoke here from this morning. It'll be in the upper 70s in to Jackson and right there at 81 degrees down around Burn. Uh, all right, here is the big time eight day forecast and the warm up continues ever so slightly. So we're flirting with the upper 80s around here and we'll keep it there. Now 88 on into Saturday for Blackfoot, bright, sunny, so make sure you hydrate. If you're going to be outdoors, know that they'll, there may be some winds and breezes which sometimes can make it feel better unless it feels like a hair dryer on the back of your neck on date night. And you men know what I'm talking about. Uh, your beard. 88 on into Tuesday, closer to 90 Wednesday, and it looks like we'll slam some more heat in here for Thursday, right ahead of back to school time. What are we, two weeks away from going back to school? Like August 21, 22, 23, right in there? It's the 10th, so you've got less than two weeks to enjoy the nice weather until you gotta go back to school and deal with children. 83 and bright and about 85 to 87. Remember, we were all children once. Uh, I love mine. I miss mine. Uh, 94 on into next Thursday for Rexburg. Salmon, it will be hot, rocking, and bright. Now, maybe a few clouds there into the upper central mountains. And again, these winds for the afternoon, we're watching them. So 15 to 20 miles an hour. And, uh, you know, right there out by the site and just past Arco, it may get gusty this afternoon. And again, the highlighted areas with the most potential for those winds. 77 with winds out of the west there into Jackson. We've seen some gusts already of up to 20. It's going to be closer to the lower 80s by the end of the weekend. Pocatello's doing pairs of eights, and then we head toward the 90s and maybe some major heat on in here into next Friday Eve. But it looks like it's going to be a nice dry stretch, which means you be careful with the fire danger and the breezes and uh, recreating. Back to you, Dylan. All right. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Coming up. It's